Hey party people, I'm here with Sam Da Buffer. And uh, I think I've asked you this before, Sam. Yes. But, because you go by two monikers, Sam The Buffer and Sam Da Buffer. Yes. Like for example, this says Da with a D as in Darren, which based on this that you had this done, which is very cool, would suggest that you prefer Da Buffer. Da Buffer, yes. Okay. And that is just kind of just make it a little unique twist on the buffer. Yeah, it's just something different, you know. The man, the man, you know. So the just, man, the yeah. man. Okay. You know? So I'm just trying to twist it up a little bit, you know, okay, just so we cool. can uh, have uh, you know a little twist. Right. We like a little twist. And speaking of a little twist, what I wanted to do <laughs> uh, before we get into this badass buffer that's been totally customized out just gives a little brief history because you you what is your specialty i color sand and buff cars okay and color sand and you guys in the industry you call it cutting and rubbing cutting right? and rubbing yeah. okay in the world of auto detailing it'd be wet sanding it yes paint correcting it polishing it that's what how kind of the terminology that we would use yes that's what okay it would be. So that's your specialty, and you've got you've got quite a pedigree chart of some famous cars that you've done. You've won a lot of shows. Yeah. Uh, you've also done bi uh, motorcycles. I've done right? motorcycles, bicycles now. I got into the bicycles. Because that's kind of like uh, here in Southern California. Uh, like like I'm a white boy. I'm a total white boy. That's like what we would might call the Chicano type of lifestyle, where they're gonna do the. They're not, they're not gonna just do a low rider car. We're right. gonna now do a low rider bicycle. Yes. Uh, so they're gonna they're gonna customize everything. Everything. We're actually there. I've seen a few people that are now starting to do skateboards. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty cool too. So we low ride everything. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Candy paint, flake, Cause, and chrome. Because this goes out to the world. Because there's people that just are not familiar with that culture here in Southern California. Because we are a melting pot. Yes. Um, every ethnicity that you could possibly imagine. So low rider. I guess if the, there's enough movies, the people are probably. I can identify what that means, well, um, but that's a, a Latin, Mexican, a Chicano, there's different ways to label it, but that's your guys' world. That's our culture, Which yes. I can appreciate because literally every car I've owned, I've dropped it. Lower it. i got to lower it, man, because I, <laughs> I want to low. <laughs> there you go, that's good. So even though I'm a white boy. Yeah. So that's your specialty, but with that said is you've customized, so you don't just customize cars and work on them and make them better and prettier yeah. and shinier. Power tools. <laughs> power tools. So give us a little history on this power tool. Uh, this is actually a 10-year-old uh, buffer that I used. It's an old DeWalt buffer. Okay. So what, you know, I, I change buffers because obviously I wear them out. Yes, you know, I do a lot of buffing. I do a lot of buffing, you know, uh, sometimes 15 hours into a day, I, I color sand and buff cars. So using the machine, you know, the motors burn out. So this, this particular buffer has been with me for 10 years plus. Um, I don't know exactly to be, to be exact the date, but you know, I, I thought I'd retire it and I retire it with a style. Yes. So I, I'm into cars. Memorialize it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'm into cars and candy paint, pinstriped it, and you know, engraving, gold plating. So uh, I, I just thought I'd throw in a little personalized That's to cool. the retirement or the retired buffer that yeah. was with me throughout the times and the cards that I've done. So, so, so tell us a little bit about what happened yesterday. <laughs> how, did you, how did you further personalize this buffer by somebody else that's iconic? Um, you know, Jay Leno is, is an icon, as you say. Yes. And he's, you know, he's a car lord as we speak, yes. you know. So by him getting a signature by Jay Leno was, it, it meant, it meant something, you know, like, yeah. wow, that's really cool. Um, the thing about it too is that I, as I was passing by and one of my followers, you know, he, you know, he works with Jay Leno. So he tells me, where's the buffer at? And I the said, buffer. It, <laughs> the yes, buffer. Because this buffer is becoming iconic. Yes. So he said, hey, um, 
where is it at? And I said, it's at the CSI booth. You need to bring it right now. So I ran over here to the CSI booth and ran right back and uh, got in front of the line and uh, got Jay Leno to take a picture with it. Yeah. Also signed it and words of badass buffer. Oh, that's cool, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. So. so tell us a little bit, so you've, you've disassembled this obviously so that you can customize it because yes. you've got custom paint, pinstriping, this whole like embellished uh, front cap it's engraved Tell us a little bit about it, it it's uh, it's engraving it's engraved and it's also it got chrome plated then after the chrome plating got done the uh, gold plated came yeah. in you know so it's a dip 24 karat um, so it, it's something that you know you see something chrome and it looks nice yeah but when you once you bring gold into it yeah it just it raises the bar. raises the bar yeah exactly well so. what i could do is let me i'm gonna get behind i'm gonna jump behind the camera and you can just do a little display for me so i can zoom in a little bit sure okay sam so you are hold up the the yeah kind of spinning around i'm gonna zoom in on it now I'm zooming in right on the uh, head of it. You've got the backing plate. Uh, maybe you could point to Jay Leno's signature on it. Uh, hold the buffer up. There we go. Let's see. I'm zooming in as much as I can, trying to capture it. Okay, if you guys can see it, it's in black. It's in black ink. But yeah, so that's a uh, that's quite a buffer, Sam. I will give you that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, again, it's something that I wanted to personalize, and this thing has been with me for quite a bit. Uh, and I also, what I did was I candied out the backing plate. I see that. <laughs> and also, who did the pinstriping on that backing plate? Right behind you. There's a. Which there's I'm a... gonna pull this camera off, and I'm gonna show this guy behind us which is Truler's, and he's over there doing some uh, artwork. Actually, that's not the main, oh, there's the main guy right there. So there's Truler's, he's doing some hey, how's it going? Interview. So you had him uh, do a little uh, customizing on your backing plate yesterday. Yes, a little, little bit, you know, right something on. different, just to uh, twist it off a little bit, you know? Give it that a little little extra edge. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So with that said, is uh, how do people find you on social media? Uh, Sam the Buffer on um, on Instagram. Instagram. And then uh, Facebook is the same thing. Okay. Sam D A and then B U F F E R. Okay. Sam the Buffer. Sam the Buffer. Yes. And you still literally, this is your world. You live it. You I still live it. cut and rub cars. Mm -hmm show cars but like let's say there's someone out there it's like well i don't have a show car but i got a car that I want you know let's say it's oe um, like, how do you approach that is that will you still do that yes i do i, okay. I do a lot of o uh, a lot of oem cars you know uh i get your you know camrys you know lexus you know toyotas hondas you know i do it all i mean i don't turn work down um just because I like the challenge and this is a passion, you know, that I like to do. Yeah. So I I like what I do. You know, I wake up in the morning and I don't say, damn, I don't want to go to work. Yeah. You know, this is like, all right, let's get this gate going, you yeah. know? So it's like so it helps me by doing a car and, and getting the challenge that I get to it. Yeah. It's 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 really good, you know. Um, there's some days that I have uh, cars that I deal with that are very challenging, you know? Yeah. Um, and I, I finish it, and once I, I finish the car, I've accomplished something, yeah. and it makes me feel good because yeah. by seeing the customer being really happy and yeah. saying, wow, you really knocked this one out you of the park. It, Sam. Yeah. So it, that gives me expert, you know, it gives me a, a uh, happiness. Yeah. And it makes me feel good because. I, I finished something and I accomplished it, 
Oh. You know, so that's that's kind of what I joke about. It's like one of the unique things about detailing. It's what's called instant gratification. Yeah. And by instant, I mean like six hours for me in my world. Meaning, if I'm not doing hardcore high level paint correction, I'm just doing a hardcore detailing. Uh, detailing a car, it could be six hours of very intense, focused, dedication, disciplined work. Yeah. And so that's what I mean is, but when I'm done, after six hours of instant, I have that gratifying moment of like, damn. And then you, the customer, Johnny customer comes out and they wet themselves, hypothetically, <laughs> because they're like, wow, Darren, this car didn't look good the day I bought it brand new. It's right. like, yeah, that's what I want to hear. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I mean by instant. You know, six hours for you though, you can spend a few days, if yes. not a week, on a car, on a yes. single car. Yes, I, I, I do spend a little bit over three to four days on a car. Yeah. Uh, again. And that's just the paint work. That's just that's paint correction. That's correcting the paint correction. That's paint yeah. correction. Uh, that's not involving, you know, I have to do the chrome undercarriage. Yeah. I have to do a motor. Or I have none to call it. That's none of the other details. Yeah. yeah. So yes, uh, taking the paint into a different level, especially when you color sand slash wet sand a car, it takes not one day, you know, to get it done. Right. And you know, I see a lot of people out there, you know, that they can color sand and buff a car in one day. Right. And <laughs> I'm like, wow. I wish I could do that yeah. because I take pride in my work. So I don't let that slide. Yeah. You know, if it takes me two days, it takes me three days, I don't mind doing it. Why? Because at the end of the day or the end of the job, the results are just incredible. Yeah. By I, I've seen the results and they are incredible. <laughs> and what that you. said is, because uh, you, you've done a few, you know, where you could name drop. This is the point where we can go into some name dropping. The only one that I know of for certain is like the RST girl. Um, she's very uh, active on social media. Yes. You did her truck. It I was did a, her truck. There was that truck was unique. There's I don't remember exactly what was special about that truck, other than it's a manual transmission and she's and it's kind a of customized. Chip Foods it. edition. Okay, Chip Foods edition. Chip Foods edition, single right. cab, stick shift. Uh, she she uh, she updated it to a supercharged motor. Okay. Uh, she's got a positive rear end now. You know, it's lowered. You know, it moves. She she uses it for the street. So she realized that she could enhance, bring the paint to a new level. To a new level, yeah. So she sought you out and said, hey, Sam, do your magic on my truck. And it got accomplished. She's out there, you know, showing the truck, riding the truck. Yeah. And it looks incredible. Like, I've, I've seen videos where, like, they see her you know on the street or whatever and sometimes I get tagged on the picture like yeah. wow look at the shine you know yeah. so it looks good and, and that's what inspires me is there any other that maybe my audience might recognize as far as people's cars that you've done or shows that maybe you've done yes um, I have done uh, tiny which is Debo aka from the movie Friday okay I've done his Range Rover I you know gave it a twist on the detailing part of it you know um, he had it put away for about two years. Uh, when he came out, I ran into him at a friend shop and he remembered me and he said, hey, you still working on cars? And I said, yes. Yeah. Wow, you need to have my car. Yeah. So we brought it over two days later, delivered it, and it looked like a brand new Range Rover that just came out of the dealership. Yeah, actually um, probably better. Probably better, yes, that is correct. I, I, I would rephrase that. I would say that. better, yeah. I would say yes. I, would, I wouldn't disparage your world to it looked uh, like it came off the showroom because I've seen too many uh, showroom fresh cars from the dealership. It's like, oh my gosh. Right. So uh, way better. Yeah, way better. So I also did another, another, art, uh, another artist from the movie Friday which was Day Day, you know, uh, he just got a, I just delivered a Mustang that I detailed for him. The, the car went into um, White Body King, which is Topo. Uh, he did the bottom, you know, the graphics on the car. Yeah. The spoiler kit, you know, yeah. they uh, twisted up a little bit and, you know, Topo, you know, White Body King called me over and wanted me to deliver, uh, detail the car. So I cleaned it up, polished it, you know, again, that's a car that was sitting for, you know, uh, six months in the shop. Oh, yeah. And after that, it's original paint, so the spoilers only got painted. So obviously, seeing the oxidation and corrosion of the, the top of the car, 
you know, we brought it to the same level. Yeah, and that represents different challenges. Yes, yeah, so different challenges, and again, you know, that's another big artist that I have done. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I'll right off the top of my head. That's, yeah, I know, you're trying to I'm think. I'm like trying like, to think oh, of other people, people as well, but. Because I could play the same game in my world, like what big names, what big companies have I done work for, and I could rattle off, you know, maybe 10 out of the 50 that I could rattle off, right. but you just forget, so I Ye get it. Yeah, years back, there's a, uh, obviously the, as I, I, when I grew up, you know, as a teenager, you know, I saw the, uh, the TV show, Knight Rider, yeah, yeah. you know, so um, I was blessed enough to do one of David, uh, David Hasselhoff's Got kid cars <laughs> back, you know, in several years back here in Vegas. I used to watch that show, man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, and, and that was a great show for me, Kit, do this, hey, yeah, Kit, do that, yeah. you know, and, and that was a great show, you know, David Hasselhoff was, you know, is a great art, you know, a great actor, and it was, it was a blessing to go to his house, uh, detail the car for a TV show that they were doing for him. Yeah. Uh, I got chosen here in Vegas because I lived here in Vegas and that's where I started the detail company. So I started here in Vegas and traveled to California to do cars for celebrities out there. Oh, yeah. And this car, like I said, the, the kit car was one of the cars for David Hasselhoff that I, I got to detail, which was, right it was a great, it was a great experience, you know, being behind the TV camera. The, I was obviously, I was never shown, but I was there and I have pictures that I was there with him and yeah. detailed the car. Well, very good. All right, with that said, we'll end. Uh, thanks for coming on camera. My, I will, uh, in behalf of my audience, I will thank you for them. No, because thank you for your time. there's gonna be people that will, you know, gravitate towards this and be like, oh, that's cool. And we're going to shoot a little tiny video just for a Facebook moment, just to kind of introduce it. Yes. Uh, but this will be shown on my station. So uh, once again, and thanks for being at the CSI booth. Thank um, you so much. Which I think you use the uh, ceramics to do most of your polishing yeah. with. I don't use most of it. It's 100%. Okay, so 100%. That's okay. what I use okay, cool. uh, in the uh, polishing industry. Uh, I deal with so many cars and I, you know, I use CSI. I don't switch it over. I don't hype it because I don't need to. The product itself yeah. does its work. Yeah. And, and it's a great, great product that I stand behind it. You well, know, very good. So thanks for your support on that. And we're not going to, we're not going to plug that because then my audience is going to think I'm plugging CSI once again because <laughs> they know I'm a partner in the company now. Anyhow, okay. so uh, appreciate your time. Thank you so and much. We will uh, see you on the next video. You guys, we are over and out. Check the links below every video. Give it a thumbs up. Give us some feedback. I can, uh, uh, Sean, my men the guy I'm mentoring, he can be the go between where he can read the comments and then he can filter it back to uh, Sam himself uh, for responses. And we'll leave it at that. And until the next video, Sam the Buffer, thank you for your time. <laughs>